A global program is trying to make it easier for people with hidden disabilities. Productivity expert Claire Kumar joins us now with more on the power of a sunflower, which you're wearing right now. Yeah. Um, and and you're, you're involved with this global program because yeah. you have a hidden disability, recently diagnosed. Yes, recently diagnosed with autism, as I was had the pleasure of talking to Tim about in April here, and also in 2014 diagnosed with MS, so multiple sclerosis. So I've lived for a long time with a, an illness that most people would not know mm -hmm. I have. And, and you could see somebody and, and not know why are they you know especially if it's if it's an issue like um, autism why is that person acting that way or why do they seem overwhelmed or, or what's yeah. going on there and yeah. this is all to help identify that and make things easier Exactly. The goal of the organization, the Hidden Disability Sunflower Program, is to make the daily lives better for those with hidden, non-visible, non-apparent challenges. There's lots of different ways to describe mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And what's happened is they have created an opportunity for organizations to be part of the program as well as members. And these organizations like Air Canada, like Metrolinx, like um, the Hamilton Airport and Pearson, uh, train their staff. And so their staff is trained to recognize this symbol. You can see I'm wearing a green pin here. Okay. Sunflower on so a green pin. So the sunflower pin. on a green pin. Yeah, that signifies someone who may need assistance. We call them sunflower wearers. Okay. okay? The, the member organizations train their staff to be sunflower supporters, and they might wear a white version of either a lanyard or a pin as well. Okay, so it's the same one, but it's, it's got the, the same white one, background. But it's got a white background or even a bracelet. We, we believe in options so that whatever you need, you can be comfortable. And I've even seen some organizations, they'll have um, a lanyard and they'll put a pin on it. Okay. So their own lanyard potentially put a pin on it. Right. So, yeah, so the goal is to connect people to have conversations that help them get the support they might need. And that support could look like anything like a little bit more time maybe a place to sit and rest, maybe urgent use of a bathroom, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, assistance assistance cognitively or with sensory challenges. There's so many challenges that are there that we just need to be in conversation about to make that day easier. Right, how did this all start? It started at Gatwick Airport in 2016, and it's, it's great. I just interviewed our CEO for an upcoming Happy Space podcast episode, and he tells the story. He was actually ran a company that did promotional merchandise, mm -hmm. right? And so Gatwick Airport was looking for a way to identify their travelers that needed help. They recognized that people were having challenges, and they wanted to meet them. And they talked to Paul, and the program came from there. Right. And it, it makes it so much easier because you don't have, if you have a hidden disability or a hidden challenge, mm -hmm. you don't have to explain yourself to someone. Well, that's it. You don't have to disclose. You can choose to disclose, mm -hmm. like I did here. Uh, but you can also order a lanyard, um, one for yourself, and it might say here, I'm autistic, or it might have a series of icons that say, you know, indicate a chair or perhaps um, visual challenge. Uh, so you have a, an option to, dis to share as much as you want, but just the sunflower and seeing that will be a clue that you might need something. And okay. let's have a conversation. And, and then businesses can be identified as well. We've got this in the picture frame here. So they might have that sign at the door. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, there's different levels of membership for organizations to join. And then we support in different ways, you know, putting you uh, on our map. We have 240 airports across the world now, 17 airlines. Um, we've got banks. We've got grocery stores. We've got event spaces. So start looking for the Sunflower. And if you see an organization where you think Think you'd like to have that kind of support? Let me know. Maybe we can have a conversation yes, yeah. and bring them into the uh, the program. Mm -hmm. So we've got about a minute left. So what mm -hmm. if uh, a viewer is there mm -hmm. uh, watching this and they have, or someone in their family yes. has a hidden challenge? Yes. Um, how can they get a button? So hdsunflower.com. You can go there and you can purchase your own lanyard and uh, and card here. You could purchase a button uh, or a pin, and uh, or you can go to any of our member sites and find their hidden sunflower page. And many of them will give you a way to be able to either pick one up in person at one of their locations mm -hmm. or potentially even mail one to you. Okay, that's mm -hmm. awesome, and 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 so needed to help out people. 
Yeah, you know, there's there's so many people that um, have anxiety, mm -hmm. mental health challenges, those kinds yeah. of things. Imagine you're traveling. It's it's really one of the toughest okay. things to do. We will get the links up on our website then so people can get more information on this.